hey guys, it's Night Flame, and today, guys, I will be giving you a review for Jonesy issue number four. Um, this issue is written by Sam Humphreys, Quinn Boyle as an artist. No, no, it's Mickey. No, no, Caitlin Rose Boyle as the artist. Mickey Kin, Keen, Mickey Kin, Queen, Mickey Queen as the color colorist, and letters by Corey Breen. Uh, so. If you guys are not hip to Jonesy, Jonesy is this character that has superpowers that basically make you be at her command. Uh, so this is an interesting book. Spoilers will happen, but let's find out what happened in Jonesy issue number four uh, by Boom Studios. Uh, so this issue is um, the prom issue for Jonesy. Jonesy does not like prom. She hates it. And uh, she wants everybody to have the worst prom ever. And her plan is to instigate drama, which is so funny because um, <laughs> that's a funny thing. Because, uh, you know, people love to instigate drama and it makes things interesting. So she wants to instigate drama at prom. She wants all the popular people to fight. She wants to ruin prom for everybody without using her powers. Because apparently her principle is ve it's becoming very suspicious. So, um... Like right here, you can see she's becoming very suspicious. Uh, so uh, Jonesy decides to go to prom with her two friends. And her friend, uh, you know, she has a crush on this girl. Uh, and she really wants to talk to her. Uh, but, you know, she feels like she has no self-esteem and no confidence to go up to her. Uh, so we see her kind of evolve as well throughout this issue. And at the end, we're, Jonesy has the opportunity to ruin prom. She decides... She, Dunn decides to basically not ruin it because she sees her friend having fun and if she decides to be like oh everybody have a bad time her friend will have a bad time as well so uh this is a big, big moment for uh jonesy because in this issue she becomes you know a very selfless person she wanted to destroy prom but she doesn't, you know, she doesn't want it to now because her friend is having fun. So selfless moment from her. She decides that everybody should have a good time. And, you know, everybody does because they're at her command. Uh, the principal kind of, you know, goes crazy. And she's like, oh, I knew it. You know, you are a you have superpowers. I'm going to get you busted. But Jonesy's like, you know what? You can't get me busted. You have no proof. Love makes you fall in love. Like love is, you know, crazy. Like you can fall in love with anybody, an object. A fictional character you like there's no proof that I put my hand in stuff because you know love can happen randomly so you know you have no proof the principal is you know very <laughs> she's quiet after that because Jonesy kind of destroys her with her speech and Jonesy is like you know what I had fun um, I ha I'm happy my friends had fun and um, she starts dancing with one of her guy friends when the biggest tribute comes in and it's her celebrity crush stuff and that's where the issue ends. Um, uh, this was an interesting issue of Jonesy. Uh, this was supposed to be the final issue since it was advertised as a four-issue miniseries. Uh, but with its fame, Boom decided to basically up it as an ongoing, which is great because this is a really good series. Uh, and I like this issue. I liked how she went into instigate drama and she kind of failed at it. And I also liked how, um, you know, she became a very selfless person in this issue. Uh, there were some really laugh out loud moments here for me. Uh, and uh, the principal was an interesting an antagonist. Uh, so we'll see what happens with stuff. But I feel like the ending wasn't the best. I really could care less about stuff. Uh, but it's, you know, Jonesy's like celebrity crush so we'll see how she deals with that um but written i thought that she was written really well it just felt like the ending was changed just so it can be open-ended and not be like oh thank you for you know following us through this mini series we'll hopefully see you another time uh but they had to give it an open ending ending because um uh, you know it's an ongoing so i feel like the ending kind of you know felt like it wasn't natural um but i did love the art um the art is always really interesting. And yeah, I liked, like I said, the humor of it. Sam Humphreys is an expert at creating this humor with the characters. And yeah, I liked it. Jonesy just completely killed it. Uh, and uh, yeah, I liked her especially. I like my favorite moment for this issue has to be, um, you know, her basically, uh, you know, going on a montage about seeing how she used her powers in the last couple of weeks. And she made uh, the principal fall in love with the mascot. And I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, so, yeah, really good book. I actually recommend this uh, to you guys to pick it up. Um, it's a really interesting indie book. And if you guys want to have just a fun book, definitely pick this up. Uh, for me, Jonesy gets an 8 out of 10. 
Um, like I said, the ending for me wasn't the best thing ever, but I did love everything leading up to it. And I think this is a really great book and I'm happily going to follow it as an ongoing. So Jonesy, 8 out of 10. And thanks for watching, guys. Hope you like this video. Also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And have a nice day, guys. Goodbye.